friends welcome again to my youtube channel anyone can code i know it's too late to upload some videos but i was very busy with my examinations and that's why i have not uploaded any video but right now i'm having few days of holidays so i'm going to upload every day a new video so that you can have all those videos now let us start uh, so today what we to pr uh, print this kind of specific uh, this specific pattern printing how this logic is going to happen that I am going to tell you so first of all uh, in every tutorial I am telling you that don't copy the logic please uh, have a pen or paper on your side so that you also understand and get to know that what I am trying to explain you and what you are also understanding that how to design this kind of like in uh, in every new pattern you are going to see a new logic so uh, it's not uh, like you, how much uh, you are going to like learn all those logics so it's better to design a new logic every time with your own so uh, don't copy the co logic every time design your own logic and implement it and try i know you will fail uh, two three times but uh, it's okay it will take time to build up logic it's not like instantly you are going to build up a logic so first of all it, had, it started with this kind of uh, pattern printing and i'm going to show you how to build this logic for this kind of pattern printing so first of all let's get started what uh, uh what i'm going to do uh you can see here like i have specified the rows and columns variable what i am taking so here i am taking a row variable as i and column variable as j as you can see right so first of all uh i is equals to right uh what is the one let us write i and j and at what uh, like at what position that specific pattern needs to be printed you need to see that so when i is 1 and j is 5 right i need to print this star pattern when i is 2 and j is 4 5 4 comma 5 i need to pin, print a star pattern this is a what i need to print a star pattern i am writing all those points those positions first of all i am writing so that we can design our logic so now when i is equals to 3 and j equals to 3 4 5 so it's 3 4 5 right and when my eyes four uh, at that time two three four five at these positions i need to print my specific pattern and at fifth i uh, at all the positions i need to print it one two three four five these variables can be changed uh, so first of all understand the logic then changing the number you can see what happens so now as you can see here when my i is 1 and j is 5 i need to print this specific pattern right when my i is 2 and j is 4 and 5 i need to print this star pattern so how i am going to implement this so as you can see here when my i and plus j both is greater than equals to 6 now how this logic is built it? now let's see when my i is 1 plus 5 right i am first writing from this so when my i is 1 and j is 5 it's greater than or equals to 6 right so it will print a star pattern so it will print here star right uh, let me write it there here now let us see here when my i is 2 and j is 4 right so at that time it's equals to 6 correct now at fifth position also i need to print a star pattern so at uh, 2 plus 5 i'm sorry 2 plus 5 is equals to 7 so it's greater than equals to 7 right this condition is satisfied so at 2 plus 5 equals to 7 i need to print a star pattern so how this star pattern is going to print red c here uh, sorry uh, at 2 plus 4th position this fourth second row and fourth position it's going to print this star pattern and then it's second uh, second this one is second row right and fifth column it's greater than so it's going again to print a star pattern so this is how it's going to print now let us see for three also uh, three plus three is equals to six correct now three plus four is equals to 7 right it's great and this can all conditions are being satisfied you can see that this all conditions are being satisfied 3 plus 4 then 3 plus 
5 it's 8 so this is what I need to print 3 4 5 so at i3 and j is 3 4 5 I need to print a specific star pattern so how this is going to print let's see uh, when my i is 3 right when my i is 3 and j is 3 so here it's going to print a star pattern because this condition is satisfied now when my like the row is same right 3 now my j is 4 so it's again going to print star pattern because this condition is satisfied i plus j is greater than and equals to 6 and when my i is 3 plus 5 equals to 8 again this condition is satisfied so it's going to print the star pattern so as you can see gradually it's going to print this kind of same pattern printing now let me show you how we are going to write it in a uh, like how we are going to write it in for using for loop so first of all in for loop what I am doing, I am starting with my i as 1 because here I am denoting my i as 1. You can take any kind of variable as you want. So, but I am taking for my general purposes i and now i is less than equals to what 5. You can take less than 6 or less than equals to 5 and i plus plus again because I need to increment my i that's why. Now within my for loop, I am going to write j. Why? Because for every i, I need to run a j equals to 1, 2, 3. Like for every i, I need to check all the conditions of j. So for i is equals to 1, j is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in this for loop, I am going to write a, again one for loop for column. Right? So this is for column. So here again I am also starting with my j as 1 and j is also going to end at j is less than equals to 5 and j needs to be incremented also. Now here in this we have seen that i plus j must be greater than equals to 6 at that time only a pattern needs to be printed. So for this uh, what I am using I am using if condition if i plus j is greater than equals to 6 right because in this loop you can see i is 1 and j is going to start from 1 2 3 4 5 till 5 then again 5 is completed here then again my for loop is going to increment as 2 then for second i is equals to 2 this j is also going to start from 1 so it's 1 2 3 4 5 so for this in if condition what I am going to write in if I have written that I need to print this kind of specific pattern right so printf what kind of pattern you need to print just write it there and now see we have uh, only discussed about if r1 like this kind of uh, 1 plus 5 equals to 6 like i plus j is greater than equals to 6 then we need to print a star pattern what about other positions right so for other positions what we are going to do a uh, else condition where only a space is going to get printed so if this condition is not satisfied then it will print only a space this blank space condition is not satisfied so I am just going to print a blank space over here so now let's check how this blank space is like printed so when i is 1 you can see here when i is 1 and j is also 1 at that time it's not greater than or equals to 6 so at that time it's going to print a blank space so here you can see a blank space is printed so for every loop it's going to check like that so uh, like now in for loop uh, okay uh, this else condition is satisfied all we have done now for after every j loop we need to print a new line also right a new line also we need to print because whenever every j loop is getting terminated i'm um, sorry uh, because in every if every j loop is getting terminated so at that time i need to print a new line a new row so for that i am using a printf so this is what our main logic now let us uh, let us get switch to uh, code blocks uh, so here it is there so the same kind of logic i am going to write so first what i am going to do i am taking two variables as ij then again my for loop is starting for loop is i is equals to 1 as I have done earlier and less than equals to 5 and again i plus plus 
again i am going to copy this i don't like to write again and again one thing so that's why i always use a copy paste kind of thing uh, just i am going to change a variable name as j because the loop is also same okay uh, now this is what we have done now in we have already seen that now we have written a if condition here right if i plus j is equals to now we have seen that if i plus j equals to 6 then print here what a star pattern right so that's what if i plus j is greater than equals to 6 then what print f a star pattern so here star is written else what else you can print a blank space okay what is there yeah print f i don't know what okay print f a blank space right now after every new for every new row i need to print a new line so after every column what i am doing i am just going to write a printf new row so for that i am writing new that's what it's done this simple kind of logic is there now let us run the code with a c it's right or wrong and formally we will get our output oh you can see that this is we are our output is here right the same output i have told you when i is 1 and j is 5 i need to print one star pattern i is 2 4 5 at that time star pattern so this is what a simple logic is there but understand this logic don't copy it as again i am telling you if you will copy for for other kind of pattern printing you are not going to understand you need to design your own logic and first of all understand this kind of this logic what i have told if you are having doubts you can ask uh, me in comments and whatever doubts i'm going to uh, i will try my best to explain you that doubts all kind of doubts and you if you have any suggestions the if you have any queries you can just write it below the comment box uh, and please write it so i must be able to understand that what kind of errors you are getting or what kind of queries you are getting so till then thanks and i will